The bell rang over a month ago for all public schools in West Virginia, but why are a lot of students not showing up? That's right. The Mountain State is suffering from high absenteeism, and leaders are brainstorming about how to deal with that problem. From the football field to the classroom, there is a lot of excitement as West Virginia schools are in full swing this fall. But there is a problem. The Department of Education says too many kids are missing school. Last year, 38% of state schools did not meet attendance standards, and 20% of all students were chronically absent. That means they missed 10% or more of the school year. A lot of parents caught in the opioid crisis are not raising their own kids. I think that's a big issue. We have many children that don't know where they're going to sleep, they don't know where they're going to have the next meal, and grandparents are raising children. I don't think it was ever intended to be that way, but they're doing the best they can do with what they have. Among the places that do not have an absenteeism problem are the 11 West Virginia counties that implement the Communities in Schools program. In fact, their attendance is up 67 percent. The goal now was to get the program in all 55 counties. And if they are missing school, we need to find out why that is and help with that situation as well. First Lady Kathy Justice is spearheading the state's communities and schools program. It's designed to help kids by adding counselors, mentors, and volunteers inside the schools. Well, it's, it's just such a great program. Uh, we, anyone can be involved in this, whether it's grandparents, aunts, uncles, uh, anyone in your community can come and be a part of it. The idea is to give kids an incentive to come to classes by showing them a lot of people care about their interests. Meanwhile, members of the State Board of Education begin a listening tour in six West Virginia communities next week, and what to do about high absenteeism will be on the agenda. The first meeting is Monday night at Mingo Central High School.